From soft serve to cream puffs, it's day four of the Wisconsin State Fair. There's a lot to learn about our favorite snacks and how they've come to be. Isley Gooden with the scoop. Cheese pulls, charcuterie boards, and milkshakes filled the Wisconsin State Fair. Dairy farmers and exhibitors look forward to showcasing their work each year. It's truly special to the heart. Ava Booth has been showing cows since she was just four years old. The Holstein cow produces great quality milk. And so milk turns into yogurt, cheese, all those different amazing dairy products for consumers to eat. And so working with our animals is, brings us true joy that we can provide healthy, nutritious dairy products for consumers to eat. The Wisconsin dairy industry is such a huge part of the state's economy. About 23% of the nation's cattle population lives here in Wisconsin, making about $45.6 billion in revenue for the state each year. The fair's Dairy Lane exhibit gives fairgoers a glimpse into what dairy farmers in Wisconsin do. What I love about the state fair is even if you're not directly connected to agriculture or maybe you've never stepped foot on a farm or you've never had the chance to interact with animals and other livestock species, that can take place right here at the Wisconsin State Fair. Winning first place in the 2023 Bread and Owned competition, Booth now hopes to come back for more next year. Um, just the connections you build with your friends as well as your dairy heifers is pretty amazing. In West Allis, Isley Gooden, Fox 6 News. They work hard. To learn more about the milk cows and how you can visit local dairy farms, check out the Ag, uh, the Ag Village at the Wisconsin State Fair.